Hey guys, um, it's a Sunday, the 9th, June 9th, yep, and uh, I've got another video for you. Um, I made another trip to Best Buy <laughs> uh, today, and I actually have a little bit of intel for you. Here, I'm about to get to that right away. Um, i got a couple other things here too, but I'll just do the Best Buy stuff first. First thing is Best Buy is doing a uh, sale on some catalog titles. I think they're uh, Warner Brothers titles. And a bunch of them are $10 a piece. And I was only looking, I actually came there for something specifically, and I just noticed that when I was there, and I restrained myself and only bought one. And to me, it was the one on the shelf that well, either I didn't have. I had, like, there were a couple that I had that I would have bought if I didn't. But uh, this one I didn't have, and it was a must for me. And that is Unforgiven. Now I was kind of waiting, waiting for the um, digi book of this. I think it's like eleven dollars on sale for running Amazon right now. But for ten bucks and having it in the store, Best Buy never has catalog titles like this, so they must just have them for the promotion. But uh, I was just excited to get this because I have not watched this movie in forever. It's been like ten years, and I'm uh, just uh, trying to add to my Western collection. But uh, yeah, Unforgiven with. Uh, Clint Eastwood, Gene Hackman, Morgan Freeman, Richard Harris, but arguably um, Clint Eastwood's best film. But so yeah, this was ten bucks. Like I said, there's a bunch of Warner titles right now uh, for ten dollars. There's also a bunch of Warner titles, and I think others, maybe Fox. I'm not certain, but there was a a stand in there that was like, <clears throat> um, uh, I think they're fifteen fifteen dollar titles. Um, but if you buy two. Wait, no, if you buy three... Shit, wait a second. Was it? Oh, damn, I don't remember now. It was... A, it was a, there were a couple things in there. I, what was, I think it was two or three for $20. I don't remember now. Shit, sorry, guys. But it was a it was a pretty good deal if you didn't have any of those titles. I had a bunch of them, so I was... I, or I didn't really want them that badly. So I did... I was... I had, um... I think Funny People with Adam Sandler in my hand, and... What else? Uh, I know Brokeback was there, Coraline, um, Field of Dreams, and I, those are all movies actually that I would like to either upgrade or get. I have Coraline and Brokeback, and there's another one there too, but I have those on DVD, and I'm just not really in the mood right now to upgrade them. Um, but I was tempted, and I just I couldn't bring myself to do it, so I just the only, only title I got from that little section there was Unforgiven. But there was another section, um, if you've looked in the ad this week or on their website, Best Buy's doing uh, $15 for a lot of the recent releases, one of which is Die Hard, uh, with the, whatever the hell, Die Hard 5 or 6, whichever one the stupid one is. It came out last week, it was 20 bucks, and today, this week, it's 15 so I hope you didn't buy it last week, because if you wanted it, it's a lot cheaper now. But uh, they also had, like, recent releases, like The Hobbit, I guess that's not incredibly recent, but The Hobbit uh, was $15. Um, I don't remember if I, The Last Stand might have been. I'm pretty sure The Last Stand is $15 on Blu-ray.com, uh, like Amazon, so you could price match it. But this title right here is the one that I saw last night on Blu-ray.com, or this morning, and I was going in to get If I didn't get it, I was going to buy it on Amazon because I, I didn't get to get it when it first came out a couple weeks ago. Or three weeks ago or so, and uh, it was just too much. I think it was twenty-two or twenty-four dollars, but four ninety-nine was right where I wanted it, and that is Cloud Atlas for fifteen bucks at Best Buy. Although I'm sure you can get it at Amazon. Uh, I think they're price matching it. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm certain they are because I saw it on Blu-ray.com. But um, yeah, I was excited for this. Like I said, I, I missed it when it came out because it was just I was at a point where I was spending too much money, which I'm doing right now. But I just couldn't do it. But I guess I'm glad I didn't because I, I got it for cheaper. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I thought anyway. Cloud Atlas. I might watch this today. I heard. I hear it's very long. Where's the time? 172 minutes. Shit. Maybe I won't watch it today. <laughs> but we'll see. That's almost three hours, dude. Anyway, 
Um, but I also got some stuff at Best Buy yesterday at the Mall of America again because my wife and I spent like three hours there um, shopping, I guess, <laughs> which is something we rarely do there. But um, I figured, what the hell, I want to peruse that Best Buy more because it's just... I had forgotten what it felt like to actually go to a Best Buy that had a selection of movies. And it was nice to actually be able to browse and hold things in my hand. Like, oh, i got to put this back and I pick this up or blah, blah, blah. It was pretty cool, actually. But uh, I only, I restrained myself and only spent about $30. Um, but uh, anyway, let's just, let's get to what I got. I got three titles. Um, 10, 20, is that right? Yeah, so yeah, 25 bucks. Is that right? Yeah. Anyway, blah. Uh, the first thing I got, I actually only got because I noticed this yesterday morning. It was uh, about $10 or ten twenty, something like that. A weird number that I'd never seen for it on uh, Amazon. And I price matched it. And that is a Premium Rush with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Michael Shannon. Um... That's the lowest I've ever seen it. It's usually $24 or $22 or maybe 19 I think the lowest it's ever been is like $17.99. So $10.99 or uh, $10.21. I'm pretty sure it was $10.21. Um, so that was, I was glad to get this. Um, premium Rush. So yeah, that was cool. I haven't seen this. I heard it's... I heard it's uh, good, but it's like a mindless kind of a movie. It's just it's a, a bike messenger's got some weird thing in his backpack, and some assholes want to get it from him or something. Um, but uh, still cool. And then I went through their five dollar area again because I was just um, looking for a cheapo. And uh, I either had the movies that they were cheap. Uh, there were actually a bunch there. Then like, God damn it! I wish I just waited six months ago. But, um, uh, or, you know, I just, I've had them for a while, and they've been $5 for a while, and, uh, some of them are crossovers from Targets, but this is, this, this one I bought was one that I'd seen before, and I just kind of passed on, and I just decided that, well, screw it, five bucks, it is a good movie, and I haven't seen it in a while, but, uh, good performances from both actors in it, and that is, uh, Primal Fear, with Edward Norton and, uh, Richard Gere. And I'm, I assume others. I recall there being another uh, woman in it, too. Laura Linney, I think, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen this in a long time. Cheapo. Five bucks if it was a good, a good deal. It looks like it's got a, a slew of special features, too. So, that's cool. This is, like, from 96, I think. Or 97. Yeah, 1996. That's cool. Um, maybe I'll watch that instead. Something a little bit shorter than, um, three damn hours. Um, let's see. Okay, the last one I got from, uh, Best Buy at the Mall of America, uh, was something that I've been meaning to buy for a while, but it was always a little bit expensive. And then I could never find a slip, for, slip cover for it. So, it's been, like, $15 for a while, and if it had a slip cover, I might have bought it, but... I saw this last week in uh, Best Buy's ten dollar area, nine ninety nine area, and it didn't have a slipcover. I was like, eh. I bought it like that's something else. I think I bought Pirates instead. But I was there this week. I mean, I was at MOA, and it did have a slipcover. So I was excited, and I bought it. And that is True Grit, the uh, Coen Brothers movie, or remake, or whatever. Um, I saw this in Netflix. Um, shit over a year ago now and it was one of those times where Netflix was only sort of working so I, it was stopped and started and stopped and started and it was annoying so I remember enjoying it but I would rather watch it um, without the spurts and um, for ten dollars and a slip giver I was happy for that and, uh, it's got some special features and uh, it had a digital copy too but it was expired I think or if it wasn't, I just threw it away because I didn't care. But I would have given it away, but it's it was a disc one, so I couldn't. Sorry, guys. Um, actually, yeah, stay to the end of the video, and I'll actually do another uh, 
Ultraviolet Code giveaway, so you'll see which movie that's for. Okay, lastly, after Best Buy, I did get a final steel book from Amazon, finally, which I ordered back when I ordered Chinatown and the Batman Begins steelbook, which was like a fucking month ago. So this was in uh, back ordered that far back, and I finally got it, and that's the Watchmen Director's Cut steelbook. So yeah, that's pretty cool. By the way, guys, <clears throat> speaking of steelbooks, Best Buy's um, steelbooks, although I believe all the Warner Brothers titles are ten ninety nine. I mean nine ninety nine this week, ten dollars. Although I'm pretty sure that does not include the Universal Steelbooks. Pretty sure. I didn't see any at my Best Buy. Um, but they did have a selection at uh, the Mall of America, but they, they were the regular price. Although this was also yesterday, so I don't I don't know for sure. They didn't even have the tags up uh, at Best Buy. It was just there. They, it still said fourteen ninety nine or thirteen ninety nine, But I know that they're on sale this week. So um, I assume if, they, if the... If the, um, what do you call them, the hero ones, superhero steelbooks, the universals are on sale, the pr Amazon would price match them. But then again, Amazon doesn't have them coming out until the end of the month, so maybe they won't if they're $10. I, I doubt they are. I'll bet it's just the Warner ones. But um, if you haven't bought some, if you've been waiting for a while, this is a good time to get them. I actually was holding on to a brother of, uh, what is it, the Book of Eli. Um, which I put back because I decided I didn't really want it that badly. And I bought Unforgiven instead. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Uh, finally got this. Um, I'll just show you the inside. Everyone's seen this by now, but two disc, back art. This is the back card because I keep those. Yeah. And then one final thing. Uh, I actually used my uh, Best Buy reward points, uh, whatever they're called. Disney reward points. I said Best Buy reward. I meant Disney reward. Disney Disney Movie Club. Blah. And I had enough to get something that I've been kind of waiting to get. Um, well, a part of something that I'm waiting to get. I have. Um, well, whatever. I'm rambling. Let's just show you. Uh, Lost season four on Blu-ray. I have season six, um, but it's the only season I had. I actually I bought it back when uh, I was watching them all on Netflix. And it ended at season five, and I was like screaming no at the at the TV screen. But season six had just come out like the month before, so I bit the bullet and spent like a stupid amount of money, probably like fifty or sixty dollars on season six of Lost, which you know is a good show, but that was too much to spend. Um, but I was in that moment, and I just needed it, so of course I bought it. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. But anyway, yeah, I lost season four. Does not have the slipcover, which is a, annoying, but it was free. It is rather thick, though. Disc one. There's only uh, 14 episodes this season, which I forgot. I noticed... The only reason I bought this is singular is because I noticed that the Disney Movie Rewards... Uh, section does not have the bundle of like one through four anymore, which is BS because I was holding out for that. But since I had noticed it was gone, they only had seasons four and like two, like there anymore. So I don't know if they're just kind of getting rid of them, which is lame if they are because I'm planning on buying like season one or two, uh, if if they're available, because I that's how I planned on buying this, not paying for them. This was a good show, by the way. It was just the. It dragged, I think, in the middle, or it was it was explaining itself, or for anyone who's watched it, it uh, they they made it up as they went along. It's pretty obvious at this point, and they came to a conclusion at the end that was the only possible conclusion they could have come to at that point. But it was a fun ride. The show was a pretty good fun ride, especially seasons one through three. I liked seasons four and five when they did the well. I, I won't say anything else. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. It was a pretty cool show. Um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got this for free. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, though I am going to do a uh, Ultra Cut Violet Code giveaway, so if you stuck around, uh, I'm going to give uh, this movie away. Cloud Atlas. Just got it today. 
code is good for another friggin' year or two, so what the heck. Let's do Cloud Atlas for this week. So to to get it, enter for a chance to win Cloud Atlas, you have to be a subscriber. You have to like the video. And then tell me your favorite, um, let's see who's in that. It's Tom Hanks and Halle Berry. Why don't you tell me your favorite Tom Hanks movie? And that could be animated, like Toy Story. It could be all the way back to Big and Splash. It could be Cloud Atlas. It could be Forrest Gump. It could be anything. He's got a lot of damn movies. So how about you tell me what your favorite Tom Hanks movie is? And be a subscriber, like the video, and you'll get entered to a chance to win. For a chance to win. <laughs> Cloud Atlas. Okay. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I don't plan to make a video in a while. <laughs> now, I'm going to do what I always say I'm going to do and not buy anything. And then I'll see you tomorrow probably with another update. But uh, that's it. But like I said, main point. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, enter to end for the. To, blah. I can't even finish the video now. <laughs> Subscribe and like and stuff, and you can enter to win the Cloud Atlas movie, Ultraviolet Code, and uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll, uh, yeah, have a good week. It's rainy as shit outside right now, but uh, I think it's supposed to be a nice week. Anyway, thanks, guys. Later.